Okay. Welcome to more Final Fantasy 16. Echoes of the Fallen. Uh, it has been a good minute since um, we've played the DLC. A good, good minute. Uh, apparently, all I have left is to uh, sit through cutscenes. I thought I would have more like bosses and whatnot to do, but I don't actually think I do. Which one of these? I don't know. Show manual saves. Which one of these is the one I want? It's 2212. 12, 10. Probably this one. Let's just go with this one. So yeah, let's just watch whatever cutscenes we have left. And uh, yeah. Hello, Karen. Back are ya? So? Did you find out where the dust crystals were coming from, or what? It's, uh, a long story. And perhaps one better told in the shelves. Bloody hell. Remind me never to go poking round in any fallen ruins. It's for the best. <sighs> Not only a mother crystal of human creation, but an icon as well. Truly, the study of our fallen forebears is endlessly rewarding. The wonders of which they were capable never cease to amaze. They came as something of a surprise to us, too. You can say that again. We had no idea what we were getting ourselves into when we set foot in that tower. We only knew the old stories. Of a people so consumed by greed that they sought to overthrow the gods. Night has it the thing we found in that tower was conceived for that very purpose. Omega. The offspring of the Fallen's boundless knowledge and unchecked ambition. A dangerous combination for all concerned. And Ultima crushed them. It was he whose secrets the Fallen coveted, let's not forget. He whom they strove to dethrone. Just as we strive to dethrone him now. Without their knowledge. And without their weapons of war. Clive. This power, I but think, we is have you, Clive. Theirs. But if I use it, as they did, who's to say things won't end the same way? Come now, brother. I think the events of recent days have made it abundantly clear that we are not our ancestors. As well you know. You're right. They made crystals. We destroy them. In crafting their artificial art, the Fallen sought to emulate the Divine. But that is not the path we have chosen. No. We don't want to be gods. We just want to be free. Well said. If one does not learn from the mistakes of the past, one is doomed to repeat them. And so, I mean to write down everything you told me to the very last detail, that those who come after might learn from our travails. And perhaps, just perhaps, Forge a brighter future for our descendants. Interesting. I can't believe all I had left to do was like a three minute cutscene. Dusk Shard. Sure. I'm really going to be posting a five minute uh, video to, to YouTube because of this. Well, we got a, we got a trophy. 
a new missive has been delivered. Let's go look at the missive, I guess. Might as well. What do I have new here? Oh, I didn't even realize I was still missing some of these. The heck am I... Dusk Shard. Oh, I see. A subtle reflection of mankind. Fiery yet flawed. Brilliant yet brittle. And its future clear yet clouded. How the crystal endures despite its mother having faded is perhaps a sign of hope for us all. That is interesting. I don't know what relics I'm missing. Wild. Or like souvenirs or whatever. Dear Sid. Oh, it's from you. I write you this note from Imperial Lands. Yes, I know we said we'd be going straight home, but a little detour to trade the trinkets we'd picked up on our travels for some trusty gill seemed in order. Give the elders something to soften the shock of losing the dust crystals like. Truth is, those crystals have long been a lifeline for our people, and though I may have been quick to comprehend your reasoning that they're not but a tether to a sinking ship, humble country folk like mine are rather less receptive to new ideas. Wish me luck in turning them to the righteous path. Famiel. P.S. In the unlikely event that we should find ourselves driven from our home at Point of Pitchfork, I trust you'll spare us a bed or three. The lads can sleep on the floor in a pinch. Okay. The lads can, but not you. Okay, let's see if we can make another weapon with that dusk shard. I don't really know. Also, what do you have new for me? Still alive, are ya? Ask about the dust crystals. So... The Fallen did manage to make a mother crystal of their own, did they? Fat lot of good it did them. Brought the wrath of God down on their own stupid heads, then left it to their descendants to clean up the mess they left behind. He did a good job making the sage spires spick and span. But if that fallen heart were anything like the others, I'll wager there's plenty of shards still out there sitting in stockpiles, waiting to be sold to the highest bidder. Still, they're not like to last long, shoddy things that they are. And anyone who tries to flog them as common crystals is begging to get themselves nabbed for dealing in dodgy goods. No. Those crystals are not but curios now. They're part of this world's history, not its future. Okay. Come back soon. And I mean what, that. What else do I have to talk to you about? This if you're gonna a, buy some, be quick about it. Buy something from you? What do you have that's new? Oh. I can buy new songs. How much money do I have? 432,000? Yeah, okay. I'll take It'd the songs. Better all be here. You'll not find a better price than that. Thank you. Might as well. Nah, whatever. I don't care it's about all. the questions right now. It is, in fact, all. Let's look at the new music. Iconoclasm. This is from the boss fight, I think. Maybe. Let's play my star. This, this is nice. Okay. Is there anything I can craft? Blackthorn. Trouble with your gear, or ask about origin. Crack the crystal. Kill a god. Save the world. I miss anything? No, that's pretty much the plan. Not a very good one. If you ask but me. Then... I can't say I've had much practice killing gods. Now, forging kit to kill a god, that I might be able to help you with. 
reckon it's the least I can do after all you've given us. And it's more than enough. <laughs> you can thank me when you get back. With this song playing in the background, I feel like I'm at like a fancy sort of jazz oil. bar or a coffee shop. Can I forge something new, though? Actually. Can I not? What was the point of getting a dark shard then? Reinforce, maybe? Fallen belt. Living tissue. No. Okay. Where is this? Drake Slayer's belt? No. I guess there isn't anything um, else for us to craft. I don't know why we got the... I guess it was... wasn't like a craftable thing. It was just the, the souvenir thing. Well, anyway, that I guess is it for the playthrough of the DLC. Maybe one day I'll play through this actual game for the channel. I have not really decided, to be honest. I want to try playing through this game on I Final Fantasy mode, next you visit. but I am not 100% sure on when or if that'll actually happen. Uh, ask about Sage Spire. Hmm. One can only assume that the Mother Crystal's ability to channel ether was as valued by the fallen civilization as it has long been by ours, much more, no doubt, due to the vast quantities of ether that their ingenious inventions must have acquired. Short. The blessing of the crystals that, to modern man, has seemed a nigh limitless bounty must to them have appeared a resource most limited indeed. Little wonder that they should seek to divine the very source of this blessing, that they might claim it for their own. You witness the bitter fruit of that ambition within that tower. And not only that, they are ambitioned to overthrow the gods too. The iconoclast Omega, the destroyer of the divine. Ironic that the icons, mighty works of Ultima, if his words are to be believed, should take their name from a mighty work of mankind that was designed to destroy him. Or perhaps entirely fitting. That is interesting. Anyway, thank you. That is in fact going to be it for the playthrough. Sorry, it took me so long to come watch one cutscene. I really thought there would be more to this DLC. But anyway, we will um, be doing the other DLC whenever it is that that comes out. Have a good night, everyone. Though so, goodbye.